Um, so this is Capital Planning, Town of Berlin. Yep. Um, if you're a participant, go ahead and raise your, if you have questions and you're not on our um, Zoom uh, leadership team, go ahead and raise your hand. I know there's clearly nobody here that's not. Um, I, I am your, I'm, I'm Anna your, Crane, I'm the chair. I'm your new member. Yes. Yes, Anna, we have nobody else but the, the four of us. There are no, there are no attendees who are okay. not members. We're not, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of catching up to do with you guys. I read everything you sent me and um, uh, do you have any concrete projects for me or I'll just work as a member? How does this thing work? Well, <laughs> I should let Anna explain, but we uh, we basically we need to look at the uh, at the requests for capital spending and make a decision about what we're, what what we are going to recommend. I, and I just took a look at what's in the folder, which well exceeds what we're able to spend. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I look at this um, spreadsheet. How, Tell me, how do you come to these numbers? Uh, where do these numbers come from? Which, you know, for, spread, which, which spreadsheet, spreadsheet are you talking looking about? at? Um, there's no title on it, but I don't know. It was sent in yes, I, I am guessing you are looking at the summary spreadsheet that we had from last year where we have a capital budget spreadsheet. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it listed all of the various projects and we tried to put the, uh, John put it together last year. Okay. Um, and it, it listed all the projects and um, yeah, I haven't looked at it in a year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's different about it, well, I guess there are two things that are different about it. One is it now states that we paid off the fire truck. Um, so yep. that's just become official. And then we have three items that we deferred to a special town meeting. Um, the tree removal, the hot top, and um, adding to the capital stabilization fund. Um, so I do think those are probably the first things we should start with with this meeting okay. um, and I have a question for Michael um, to open up that discussion about those three items and my question is is that Margaret sent around an email this afternoon saying that the money that she is thinking we are going to be allocated for this year um, include or does not reflect the trees, the hot top and the stabilization being, um, I'm gonna say removed from it. Um, and she said she would leave that up to FinCom's recommendation. Did you read that email? I, I read that, I, I wasn't, I, I'm hoping she will get here because I wasn't exactly sure what she okay. meant. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look, oh, we, we know that we have a, a fair amount of free cash. Um, I went through the requests that are sitting in this year's requests is 1.342 million, mm -hmm. which is 70% uh, of what we have available, probably. 270%? <laughs> Yeah, because I think that, that, that Margaret suggested we spend something like 550,000. No, no, no. Margaret, Margaret gave us two numbers. So she gave us 526,000 of free cash and 443,000 from the Highland Commons Mitigation Fund. Oh, I missed so the that. Total of 900 and, uh, nine, 970,000. Okay. Almost 971,000. Well, we, we're still way above it. We, 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 you know, we, when you oh, look yeah. at the. Uh, the bucket truck, the chipper truck, the the the, the backup ambulance, the new radio. Oh my God! Right, Expensive right. Expensive to run a town. Right. 
the first year I did this, we had $3 million in requests. Yeah. Um, so wow. that it, you know, 1.3 to me seems like no big deal. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll finagle it uh, into our budget somewhere. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we, will, we will probably not fund everything. Um, you know, um, we can talk what, about it. What's this about spare ambulance? Uh, yes, I'm so, not sure. Yeah, so, so uh, John, did, did you take a look at that, that uh, at the files in that, that shared folder uh, where, where we had, uh, Margaret sent them to us last week or so, but there were things from the, the highway department, the, sen the seniors, uh, the Council on Aging had one, although they didn't request any money, they just had an idea. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. The police had a couple of things, yeah. and, and then the fire department had three trucks that it wants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I was on... Uh, police wants new radios, right? New radios, and, and we, we have been replacing one car per year, and they want to do their, their replacement again. Um, you were saying, Elise? I was not able to open up the fire department. I did see the police. I did see highway and okay. I, the Council on Aging. Okay. The one what I am very apprehensive is yesterday they had the uh, department, no, Tuesday morning, they had the department head meeting and Molly said they have gotten an abatement form for Highland Commons, for Solomon mm -hmm. on Mall, uh, for like three or four other businesses. And this morning I certified as the, uh, as a notary, about 20 foreclosures, instrument of takings from the tax collector. And 20 foreclosures of, of, of homes or of businesses? Uh, most of them, in the past, we've always, it's been um, vacant land. Uh, I would say there were about between five and eight that were actual people's homes. Mm. How so, many? How many do we typically see in a year? Homes? No. Uh, either of those. The um, oh, that category maybe yeah. between six and nine. Wow. So. Uh, two to three times. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is just the start. Yeah. Not. Yeah. That I want to be a downer. Uh, they've also requested our budgets. They said there'll be no raises and they wanted us to level fund or reduce what we could in our budget. Mm -hmm. So I am, I just don't want to go whole hog this year. No, no. Yeah, no, no. Totally agree. You know, um, so that's all the great news I wanted to tell you. <laughs> Woohoo! So glad. No, I just figure I would rather know than make out a plan and then find yeah. out you're back to ground zero. Yeah, like last year. We did that last year. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it's going to get better this year. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. the the COVID has to work out for two or three years. And the food pantry said they're um, they're up to twenty to thirty families getting food. Mm. So and normally it's maybe ten to fifteen. Mm. So double. We're not an island. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Um. Oh, so let's go back then to those three items left over from fiscal year 21. Yep. Actually, I, I want to ask Eloise the 
the HVAC unit that is being done at public safety, that's a fiscal year 21 item as well. So should that be included in our um, discussion about these three items? Should it become four? I think we should be aware of it. The thing is, I think they were planning to do that if we had a special town meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, there was supposed to be a special town meeting on December 5. Right. And um, now that, you know, like school has closed because one of the students tested positive. Mm. So they are now strictly on offline and they're going to start opening up next week. I know my great granddaughter starts up November 19. Wow. Oh. Okay. Oh, fun continues. Um, so the so the HVAC unit is not something we need to approve or disapprove. It just is something we need to be aware of. Well, I, in my personal opinion, I think they would take some of the money for it from us. I'm also on the energy committee and I haven't been able to find out if the state is going to do an energy grant program for this coming year, in which case I would hope it would be eligible. Yeah. And, you know, be it a cost sharing as opposed to an outright expense. Oh, and I did see that the school wanted 100,000, give or take. That's so nice. Okay. I guess the only thing I couldn't see was fire. Huh. Well, I, didn't, I didn't see schools. Where was school? I didn't see school. Yeah. Yeah, uh, from John Connery. Yeah, I didn't see that in the in the Google Docs. Not in the folder. I just. I just couldn't the open folder. the Google Doc. Oh. I couldn't open all of it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. we lost Eloise. What? She got mad and hung up. <laughs> I hope not. Well, no, no, Eloise I'm sure. is, is, well, Eloise right. is away. Anna, I, I am going to have to um, tell, I'm going to have to, to get them moving, get, get finance committee moving forward on replacing me it's, yeah i i i didn't think about how quickly this is coming up but i figured out before the movers come six weeks from monday that's crazy yeah wow. so over the next six weeks i have to i mean i will i will help but i also have to pack the house <laughs> right right um yeah, you got to yell at FinCom. We'll miss you, but I can understand. Well, you. <laughs> you got a good, a good permanent replacement. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll miss him as a neighbor, though. <laughs> I know. I'll miss you guys, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Anna, I have a few procedural questions. Maybe this is not a time to do it. Or No, no, this uh, is probably a good time to do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Wait. Um, because I, I don't know this stuff. How does this budgeting process work? When uh, department heads meet, is, is it FinCom or uh, one of us present there, or they just come up with their own wish list and then, yeah, well, I am very suspicious about the numbers, you know. Yes, yes, good. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. How, well, they come with these numbers and we pay too much. Uh, that that right. kind of stuff I want to dive in and question. I mean, who, are right. these, who are these vendors? Right, it, right. It just, it, yeah. it, it's a really, those are really good questions. So typically we give out the form that we've, that we've given out to department heads and yeah. they create their wish list and they're supposed yeah, I, I see, yeah. Yeah, they're supposed to provide documentation from vendors that show show the justification. And as you can see, some of those some of those um, uh, bids or quotes came with the documents, and some did not. 
Um, and yeah. some like the the um, fire truck pickup truck was the request he made last year, and he just put the same quote in, which isn't gonna hold water this year. Um, you know, the 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 dealership isn't probably going to hold to the same quote this year that they did last year. Um, some of the vendors are contracted. Some of our departments have to go through the state approved vendors. Okay. Um, so sometimes they're required to go to specific people to get specific quotes. Oh, okay. um, typically what we do at this point is we, we discuss today everything that we've been given um, and we hear from Margaret about what she has to say. And then over the next few weeks or months, we have meetings with each of the department heads Okay. And they sort of defend their paperwork and their requests. Um, and then we decide how we budget the money to, to each okay. of these requests. And somebody really takes a look at it. Do you really need it or is it just a wish list? Y yes. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. stuff like the, the, bu the bucket truck, which yeah. was on this year's list, was on last year's list. And we one of the biggest issues with the bucket truck is that it requires that the town hire another employee. We don't have enough staff wow. to run all the vehicles plus a bucket truck. So it would include, it would require the, the hiring of another employee. And that's a cost that's not on our- Oh you know, yeah, so, so yeah that, you know, that's a big cost. Uh, we are in some way, this, this, group is in some way, I don't know, not advisory, but I guess advisory to the finance committee. Yeah. The finance committee ultimately has to make recommendations. Um, and and which, which I guess the finance committee recommend, uh, either agrees with or disagrees with uh, the capital planning committee's recommendations. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, but, you know, the finance committee is going to look at what are what are the what's the, what is the total implication of this? We we advise them on where do we think we ought to be spending. So if you take a look at the form, and this was something that was added last year, um, the form now now requires that people sort of indicate priority, how important it is, uh, and why is it important. Um, and we need to to look at those. I mean, there, there's some things. There is a tendency by everybody to say everything is high is is the most important, but you know I can I can be reasonably sure we're not going to spend five hundred sixty five thousand dollars on new things for the highway department. Um, the bucket truck now has a, an eighty thousand dollar chipper added as well. <laughs> so, right, which was okay last year and not okay this year. Like it was going to survive last year, would have yeah, made it, but not, this not, year not the new, new chipper. Yeah. Now, in, in, in case of the bucket truck and chipper, I, I assume that somebody in finance committee did some cost analysis. Is it cheaper to just hire somebody? Yeah. We so so last year, in yeah. fact, what we had what we had recommended was instead of the two hundred thousand dollar bucket truck. Which yeah, may have been only $180,000. Employee, yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah. That we spend $60,000 on tree removal. Yeah. That's going to make me circle back then um, to we reckon we made that recommendation and then COVID hit. So we removed that $60,000 right. recommendation from the table and postponed it um, to the fall. To, to, Which, for for the special town meeting when we said if, if we have we might propose it then right so th one of the things we need to really discuss tonight is do we still propose that um should a special town meeting occur in 20 another special town meeting occur in 2020. Yeah. i mean the fact is, is as, as Giannis knows we do have dead trees around this town. Yeah, we do. Several of them were, I mean, I had one that fell down at the edge of our driveway. Uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, but we do have a lot of them on Crosby Road. That's true, yeah. But so what do we have to recommend to continue with this proposal or just dump it or whatever? 
Well, I think basically what we need to do over the next, or what the committee needs to do over the next couple of months is look at all of these and probably others which are gonna come in mm -hmm. and say, all right, given what we think we have available we, to, to, that we can afford to spend, how do we allocate this among these? In which you know, is, 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 is a brush truck for the fire department more important than a pickup truck? Um, Fire department, I think, thinks everything is, is top priority. Um, you know, you worry about the radio system for the police, which they which they are concerned doesn't, the current radio system doesn't work in many areas. And is, is uh, I think and last how, how year- old, How old is the current police? I, 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 I don't remember, it's old. 25, and it was installed by the police. Like it wasn't professionally installed. Oh, okay. And it's 20 years old? Yeah, 20 plus. Okay, then. Yeah, but I'm sure right. it, it's not they're replacing two years ago's system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I know he's looking for grants as well, Chief, Chief Galvin. Yeah, yeah I read so, about that. Yeah, hopefully, it won't I think be. Chief Galvin tends to be very careful in what he asks for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We'll ask him tomorrow. Or no. Uh, the yeah. one other thing, if I forgot to mention, uh, Riverbridge had, I guess, sent a letter to the selectmen saying they would, they are not in a position to pay the hundred thousand dollar mitigation, which was due. Now. <laughs> oh, so they, well, that's too bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, if, Can we get a position to answer fire or ambulance calls? Yeah. I have no idea. You have to remember the ambulance call thing initially was when we were totally part time or more more likely sporadic. And you know, you had a different person, but I am concerned if like Highland Commons also wants to change some of their mitigation. I don't know yeah. if they will. Mm -hmm. Oh, they will. But the yeah. fact that they're asking for a rebate, I, I think everything's up in the air. And they're asking for a rebate, not 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 to, to not pay something, but to, to have money returned to them. All I can tell you is the scuttlebutt I hear. Okay, so hopefully Margaret will join us and and has some of this data. Uh, I went back and I looked at Google groups and the Berlin Memorial School is towards the end of the Google groups. Because oh. I complained to Margaret, I could not see it, but it's there now. Hmm. Yeah, and I Michael's, just... Michael, you're the computer literate one. Yeah, I just, I just looked at... Uh... So what I find in, in, in um, maybe it's not in the fiscal 22 file. Did you just 20... sent an email like yesterday or today? Okay, I did not see one. Sort of blur. <laughs> I did not see one from, from that. Who, who sent the email? I believe Margaret. Margaret sent, so let me look at what Margaret's email said. So I see for fiscal year 2020, it's just in the capital planning. Um, they had the full five years. Oh yeah, so they have 2022 is $115,000. Yeah. Anna, what are you looking at? I, I'm looking at my computer. <laughs> what, what are you looking at on your computer, my dear? Right. So if you go, I got to go back and get out of it so I can tell you. So if you go to the, um, in that Google Drive, uh, up in the middle on the top, it says like shared with me. And then it right. says capital planning committee. Right. So, um, if you click just on that capital planning committee in there, it has three folders and then five. Five year capital plan updates. Yep, and five files. So the second file is Berlin Capital, Berlin Memorial Capital Plan. Wait, That's what I'm looking at. I, so when I click on five year capital plan updates, wait, wait, so no. 
No, no, not in there, just in the files. In, in the files. Yep. If you go to Memorial Capital Plan. Oh, yeah. That's what I was looking at. I didn't look at that. <laughs> um, so Merlin, it is Merlin. Merlin. a formal request. Now, how do you get into Google? I don't want to waste that on Google Groups. I have to figure out. You know. Did you get the email from Margaret? If not, I can send it to you right now. Uh, I did get some. Uh, uh, what was it? In the afternoon. Is that the one? No, it, I think she sent it on Monday. Maybe I'll resend it to you just to make sure. I probably did. Yeah. So she sent it on 11 3, which was not Monday, was it? Maybe it was. November yeah. 3rd, the Tuesday of the state election. 11 3 was Tuesday a week ago. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see 11 3 email from her. Okay. So on in that email, she has a shared Google Drive folder. And that's what we're talking about. Uh -huh. So that has. I see. This. So either there is a. So I. I uh, this. This is the 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 summary. So they they didn't resend uh, the request this year. So do we know whether they still actually want these? There will likely be some short term, long term recommendations from from the review, and this placeholder is included to include one of the short term recommendations. That's fifty thousand roof over cafeteria and boiler room. Twenty five. Oh, I see. It. IT or capital planning, okay. And then replace right. VCT, whatever VCT is. I don't know what that would be, VCT. And replace with epoxy surface. Huh. Yeah, I, I, I see it, okay. I just wasn't sure what is that, okay. Yeah. I got it. Um, yeah, typically, I mean, they, First, we can't argue with their assessment. Um, and second, they get the, typically get us their stuff eventually. Is that, was that for Berlin Memorial or is that for, for the schools altogether? I believe that's only for Berlin Memorial. I believe Eloise is correct. It doesn't include Tahanto or Asabeth. No. Correct. No, they said they'd do theirs later. You may be out of money by then. Well, actually, you may be out of money by then. I'll be gone. <laughs> I remember that subject coming on in one of the town meetings a few years ago, or was it two or three, about the air conditioning and all that stuff. Y yes. So two or three years ago, we approved it. Mm -hmm. um, they never fixed it and then last year they asked to fix it and we had to re reapprove it this was which the that, that hvac oh, issue that was just getting oh. to the hvac yeah access to the built stairs yeah. for a hundred thousand dollars ninety five thousand dollars or something yeah mm -hmm. expensive steps mm -hmm. yep i do there might have been a platform or railing i kept saying a rope ladder would work yeah. <laughs> or a pull down ladder. Yeah, man, about it. <laughs> what about just a ladder or a man lift? Like, go up, take a look at it, come back down, return yeah. the man lift. I, I remember talking to Walter about that, and he said he went and actually walked on the roof. Yeah, but anyway, that's that was a few I'm years back, yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I have a question for Michael. Yes, um, so in the email that Margaret sent, she said that her estimates of um, available cash for capital planning to spend um, she had the free cash number, the mitigation number, and then she had a number 
where she said for capital that you guys had established cap, um, free cash guidelines and for capital right. stabilization, we have no less than $175,000 to put into it. We, so we're required to put $175,000 into stabilization for FY 2022. So these are guidelines. And uh, we had a big debate about that. If you recall, it, um, um, our new, our new, our new selectman, um, Scott Hawkins. Scott, thank you. I kept wanting to say Stan, but I knew that was wrong. Uh, Scott was very much against these, if you recall, but we passed it at the town meeting um that to establish these funds i, I think eloise isn't that what we did i thought so but then yeah. i thought margaret said it had been done wrong and my comp immediate sarcastic comeback would be before you print the town warrant shouldn't town council look at it shouldn't the accountant look at it and I believe they both did. So I don't know why it's an error now, but it wasn't last spring. Okay. Perhaps I'm old and crankety. <laughs> in, in any case, <laughs> the, the capital stabilization fund, um, the, this, the free cash guidelines, which were adopted at the last meeting of the finance committee, uh, which I missed because I was somewhere on the road driving back from Colorado at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, it says that not less than 10% of free cash should be applied to capital stabilization. But again, those are guidelines. Okay. So, and it's also pre-COVID. Yeah. Michael, when you leave, you do realize we can get computers from Colorado to here. Yes, but I can't legally do anything because I'm no longer a resident. Oh, just keep your house here. That's fine. Yeah. Who said that? People who I'm selling it to are very nice. No. Oh. When is that? Very nice. When is that to take place? Six weeks. January 4th is the closing. Oh, okay. December 28th is my move out. December 28th is six weeks from Monday. It scares me. Mm -hmm. I should be packing boxes <laughs> now. <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing how much you acquire. <laughs> oh, it is. But I've got somebody coming tomorrow to take my tractor. Oh, I didn't realize you'd be selling a tractor. We need a tractor if anybody knows of one. No, oh, I'm sorry. This is just a, you know, a small lawn tractor. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what we need. Ours, mm -hmm. um, our gas tank to, um, developed a crack. Ah. Bad. Ah. There was gas everywhere. Yeah, the guy who's buying it is like one of the electricians at WPI. And mm -hmm. he said his tractor died. He said, no, mine lives. It happens to be a 1989 tractor, but <laughs> mm -hmm. we had a 72 Cub Cadet. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. Couldn't get a new gas tank for it. No. Yeah. yeah. These things are remarkably uh, sturdy, actually. Yeah. Okay. So we should circle back and again to our 21 requests. Um, Again, this is probably a question for Margaret, but if there's no special town meeting, do we have to decide yet what we're going to do with those requests? Uh, you can always host a meeting with 48 hours notice. Ah, true. Okay. You don't want it to become too routine, but you know, it's not that burdensome. Yeah. Um, we probably do have to look back at the at the, the 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 couple of things that we had suggested, and, and one was what tree removal, hot top, yep, and, fun, and, and funding the capital stabilization fund. Yep. I had a question. Hmm. How much did they want? How many trees did they say needed to be removed? 
Oh, it was something like 800. Yeah, well, when when they had a meeting that I attended a Zoom meeting uh, with CMRCP, the number was 200. That may be, so, so if you walk around town, you yeah. discover that there are trees that have green ribbon on them. There are trees that have orange ribbon on them. Uh, now, when you talk to, to Dave about this, can't say anything because you don't want to recognize that anything is need is dangerous and needs to be removed because then you've recognized it. And should it fall down and hurt somebody, you should have taken it down already. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I did get him to admit once that the ones with green ribbons are the ones he's marked. Uh, so my guess is that those are the most critical ones, the ones that are closest to the road or lean into the road or whatever, and, uh, and, and, and are the deadest and, and really need to be taken down. But there are something like 800 dead trees close to the road. Just remember there's somebody's home. Down. Say again? Just live in dead trees. Mm -hmm. And, and I would say on my side of town, I haven't seen any trees marked, um, including the dead one next to my driveway that hangs over the street. Mm, interesting. Uh, come, 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 come walk around on, on Crosby Road. You'll see lots of them. You're going to see a lot yeah. of them. Yeah. I, I'm not quite sure what you guys have going on over there with your ribbons. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I believe you. <laughs> your no yellow of ribbons, them. I'll tell you. Yeah. Um, well, so we were definitely told 800 and we picked that 60, $60,000 figure because that would do 300 trees. And we sort of thought if we, you know, were able to do 60,000 for three years in a row. Well, that's... it's a start and they're not, once they're down, they're not going to keep growing back. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I and want so, them this, to make the take the dead one out in front of my house, but they can't take it down. So they took down all of the limbs. I want it to turn into a totem pole. Oh, that'd be cool. Be happy. Do we have Native American population in town who could carve it? Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure they'd want to be singled out. Okay. Well, it could be non-Native Americans. Well, I just think it'd be nice saying, go on Randall Road till you see the totem pole. Yeah, that'd be yeah. super cool. You could paint it. True. Oh. Yep. Um, so yeah, trees, hot top, and stabilization are the three things that I think are up for debate. Um, I, I would say that the HVAC unit for public safety doesn't seem debatable. The weather... I mean, if anybody wants to debate it, we can, but it seems pretty necessary to me. That would be my first priority. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Do you want to take a vote? Sure. Let's vote on the, the HVAC. I make a motion that we hold a vote on our um, approval or disapproval of the HVAC system for public safety. Okay, second. Oh. Um, so, John, I'm not allowed to vote. Oh, you're not? Okay. Because I, I am appointed by the Finance Committee, and, and I, I'm, I'm here okay. because of that, but I'm not allowed to vote. Um, so all in favor of approval of that HVAC unit um, for public safety, say aye. 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 Did you have an amount of money for that just so that I'm supposed to do the minutes? Um, maybe. We have an amount that was in the sheet last year. Actually, you're not, you, you need to do a roll call vote. A ro oh, I, Anna Crane, okay. Um, do you want me to look up what the amount is first yeah. so that you know what you're voting on? It um, looks good. A roll call vote? No, knowing the amount of money you're voting on. <laughs> It looks like we, me, you know, maybe debated or determined. We had an idea of what we were doing. <laughs> we 
We have no idea. Somebody should realize someday we have no idea. That's okay. So it's, the vote is still valid. Everything's good. Um, the vote is still valid. We're just going to reword it and do it again. Okay. okay. Start with you, Anna. Hmm. I'm writing it down. What's your vote? My vote is I. Yes. But I'm going to assume. Michael, Michael, are you looking for the number? So yeah, I'm to... looking for it right now. I'm not finding it yet. Janice. Yeah. I vote yes. Aye. Okay. E -E -S. Okay. It is a unanimous vote. It is. Okay. Let's count office reconfiguration. That's not it. <clears throat> um I'm not finding it. Come on. Oh, oh, Capital Query Quest Public Safety. Roof upstairs public safety. Nope, that's not it. That's the roof. Which is still leaking. <laughs> oh, come on. We determined, didn't we, because we're such experts that um, roof shingles. It no, wasn't the right. roof leaking, it was the pipe sweating. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to look in a different place. I'm going to look. Uh, I'm looking at the. How about look in my, in my file? So I see. The thing that Margaret gave us. Building $60,000. Okay. I think that's on the. It's not highlighted for. It's on. All right, capital plan. All right, I'm getting there. Oh, I see. There it is. Okay. Yeah, sixty thousand. So I, I think that would come off of our uh, capital planning money. I think you're right. Um, get back to where I can see you guys. So the question is still. I still support it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I don't. See I mean, I, I will try to get a state grant for it, or at least you know some portion. Yeah, shall be awarded a dollar. <laughs> oh, you know, any dollar helps. I have a feeling that this just came in after the. Uh after last year and, and that's why i can't find it on last year's sheets no yeah. it, it wasn't on last year's that's yeah. why i can't find it there <laughs> yeah um it is on the summary that margaret just recently sent us all right, All right. Go back. yellow highlight they, i i do read them okay i do 10 minutes before the meeting Oh, I, it's a non-pharmaceutical way for me to go to bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're sleeping, Eloise. I do. No problems. I am, I'm, I'm not finding it on the sheet she sent us a couple of days ago. No, on the, so the one, the, it's an Excel spreadsheet. Give yeah. them the date that you received it. I don't know. Uh, oh. Let's find it. Oh. Well, I'm looking actually actually at today's sheet where she has capital request summary. Oh, oh let me, it may have been in the email. Yeah, she sent a, an email with a couple of attachments. Today. Today, I believe. That's not there. It doesn't list the amount. The, okay, yeah, it did come today. Is it the one, are you looking at the one um, called Town of Berlin 2021 five-year capital plan fiscal year 20? FYC 2021 approved capital requests? No. Not approved. We're all approved free cash. I, I don't, that's not the email that came today I'm taking. It is the email that came today. Hmm. It, it's the, for me, it's the other one. <laughs> um, it's the one where she, there's a big, 
if you open up the spreadsheet, there's a big yellow band. Right, that's the one, yeah. Thanks. So which email is this? I've got so one that came at 11.16 a.m. and it doesn't seem to be yes. in that. Yes. It, no, it is in that? It is in that. So there were two attachments to that. One is CIPC 2021. Right. That's not the, it. <laughs> um, it's the other one that starts with Berlin. Approved free cash guidelines? Oh, wait, that's not it either. No. Okay, wait, I take that back. Where is it? Where did I get this from? <sighs> Whoever that is, you're breaking up. I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, get kicked off, guys. No. Um. Um. I'm going to email it. Right now. Well, if, if you've got a number, just tell us what it is. <laughs> uh, 60,000. That's what it says on here. Okay. 60,000 even. But is that, a, I don't know whether that's a guess or a tentative quote. And I would agree with that statement. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm, are you, did you just send something? You know, 630, you sent something. I like yeah. No <laughs> I saw all those um, yeah, I'm gonna send this. First, I have to save it, and then I have to send it. Uh... <laughs> What? Now it says it already exists. Have you sent it? Not yet. Okay. I'm still clicking. Okay. So what part of Colorado are you going to be, Mr. Ginsburg? I'm sorry, what, what, what did you just ask? I said, what part of Colorado are you going to be? Uh, just outside of Boulder. Oh, okay. Which is, I don't know, do you know Colorado well? No, but I have a brother there who okay. I visited Bo yet. Boulder's about, what, you know, 40 miles from Denver, 35 miles? Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah. My son, How was that no, in relation no. to Silverthorne? Oh, Silverthorne is um, on Route 70, just over the Continental Divide. Um, just as you come down the hill, you come into Dillon and Silverthorne. So it, it's about 90 miles from, um, from Boulder. But I have a, a little vacation property that's about 15 miles from Silverthorne. Maybe only 10 miles from Silverthorne. Is that where your brother lives? Well, he lives in Denver, but then they have a, they have a, a condo out and I thought it was right by Silverthorne. Okay. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's uh, the Summit County skiing area. So, so it's, it's, Silverthorne is halfway between Breckenridge and Keystone. Okay, I've filled up my conversation. I uh, have we <laughs> I sent it, I emailed it. 
In um, print, there it is. You got it faster than I did. Five-year capital plan, okay. Yes. I think I have the spreadsheet. I spent on mine. Okay, so, and it, it is in here somewhere? It is in there. Department. Hold my back up again. So it's, yeah, under departments, there's a buildings. Highway department. Department yes. of repair, hot top. Well, he's oh. facilities. Dave Smith is in charge of highway as well yeah. as facility. Right. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's why I'm looking with the highway buildings. So after, after BMS, it goes, after BMS, it goes capital planning committee. 35 ton planning. rooftop HVAC. Yep, that's it. 60,000. Yep. 60,000. It's, it's, if you open the spreadsheet, it is line 70. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's numbered. Building free gas. Okay. Okay. So we did talk about doing this last year, but we then didn't do it. I don't think so. I think we talked I about thought it came, if it came in, it came in late. Yeah. But we have it on the spreadsheet. No, I think this is Margaret's spreadsheet. I think she added it. Could be. More to make sure that we don't forget it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's some things down there. Oh, 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 I see. Well, yeah, no, the, the, yes, because these are the new things. When you look down there, uh, beginning on line 67, the wood chipper, mm -hmm. the front end loader, the bucket truck, the 35 ton rooftop air conditioner, the replaced of the backup ambulance, the brush truck, the radio system. <laughs> so, Going forward, who do we think is the first department head that we want to invite to our next meeting? Well, I probably would tell you I would support the police getting a new car. Only because the last, given all the tax money that is paid, the last thing people would want is to call the police and not have them show up. Have the car stall on the way there, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that we, we, we need to look at them all and ask, um, get a feel for, for yeah. really how critical, I mean, is, is the radio system critical because it's about to fail and you're not gonna be able to, they're not gonna be able to talk to one another. I mean, there, there was the issue that last year that we heard about that the fire department could not, know, whoop, I think Margaret is here. And I need to let her in. Margaret is being promoted. Woohoo. And there she Hello. is. Hello. I was I was raising and lowering my hand, kind of like a an SOS. I apologize. I, I, we were we were looking at spreadsheets and they were covering up the uh, screen so I couldn't see that you were there. Oh, okay. Um Yes, I, you know, I heard you talking about that, that spreadsheet that just kind of lists all the requests. Mm -hmm. um, I, I threw that together just to kind of get a sense of the totals. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Well, without, without the things that are left over from last year and without anything from the school, I come 1.342 million. Mm -hmm. It's more and, than we have. Assuming that the cost of, of, of the senior center assessment is zero. Yeah, right, right. All the you'd senior. So this the COA director, our new council on aging director, really just wants to do a survey. She just wants to see if there's interest in moving forward with it. I mean, she's being very, very wise, okay. uh, you know, about proceeding. So there's no request yet on that. Well, you know, if it, if it's not a capital expenditure, we shouldn't even have to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, true. If, if it if it's within, I mean, she should. Maybe propose in her budget that that she does that. Yeah. 
What's um, involved? What is involved with her finding out? I mean, uh, would she send out a questionnaire? Yes, they haven't done a survey from the COA in ten years, so there would this would be a survey that's uh, that's mailed to all the seniors in town. Actually, it could. Um, they were talking about potentially including it in the Powderhouse News because that's you know widely distributed to all seniors in town. So. Well, if not, then maybe that's something that would go in my census, which would be going out the end of next month. Ooh. True. You said you have room for another page, don't you? Just one. Mm -hmm. Carry it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, before I forget, because I'm trying to take notes, on the HVAC, the 60,000, is that a guess or is did were quotes gotten or? No, there's a, there is a quote attached to that and it is, hold on, I have it here. It's in the, it's in the packet on, in the drive. Let me um, just find it here. It is, um, here it is. The actual quote is like, let's say 54 something. There it is. $54,015. I think he's built in a contingency. And honestly, I haven't read the, uh, the quote. Yep, never mind. It would include the crane because I know that would be a huge cost. Um, mm. But yeah, $54,015 is the quote that he received back in June. Okay. Uh, and who is this from? Uh, it's from Dave Smith Buildings. Highway. Yeah, I know that. But who is the quote? Oh, I'm sorry. Who's the quote from? Automatic Temperature Controls Incorporated. Thank you. You're welcome. That includes you installation. Before was to approve up to sixty thousand dollars. Now that's total number, including installation and tests and all that stuff. That's what it says. Um, it says replace the top unit. Um, it includes disconnection of the existing unit, a crane to remove the unit, connecting the power with new disconnect, replacing the breaker, startup of unit and test for proper function. Um, this is one of those things that we'd have to go out for bid on under the public construction uh, procurement law. Um, I guess if we've got a quote like this, we can reasonably assume the quotes will come in at that um, in that ballpark. Range. Yeah, in that ballpark. But um, probably best in a situation like that to have the extra few thousand dollars built in just in case. Okay. Yeah. And to, and to be, um, include just to be warranty and stuff like that. Excuse me? Don't. The quote includes warranty. Equipment warranty. That's a good question. For how long? Better. Let me see. Um, warranty. Uh, for warranty service to repair or replace defects associated with labor materials and major equipment on the systems we install for a period of one year from our startup date. Um, all original equipment manufacturers, OEM warranties extending beyond one year will be transferred to you. It doesn't get into that detail about the OEM uh -huh. warranties. And how long was the quote good for? Oh, I'm going to delete this one. Out. <laughs> well, a lot of times they'll say, you know, for two months or three months. Yeah, yeah let's see. Uh, good for 30 days from the, from the June, with, uh, the June okay. 18th date. Expired. Right. No, but it gives you a starting point. Yeah. Right, right. So the board, the select board would like this one, this particular request to be, uh, to go to town meeting for approval for FY21. And, and that is because that is because it would allow the procurement process to begin immediately instead of starting all that in July and not having installation of the, of the unit until later in the calendar year next year. Is, is this just uh, cooling or is it heating and cooling? This is cooling. 
This is cooling. We have a yeah, we have a furnace. Which is which is so so it maybe it's less expensive to do it in the winter than to try to replace an air conditioner in July. Possibly. Um it's poss that's po that's entirely possible. The um the one issue the the one issue that we have is that we're operating only on one unit now. So but then again, we have windows. We could open windows and put fans in. No, 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 I'm saying but do, doing it now may be advantageous financially. Mm -hmm. And that would that would then, you're not likely to have to cool the place again before June. Yeah, true, true. That's true. Well. So, so may I ask the question that we just asked just before Margaret joined us, which was, so which of the department heads should we be speaking to first about these lovely requests? Mm. Well, I think, honestly, I, I feel that there's a lot of work to do on any one of the requests. And I don't even know that you, that Capital Planning Committee should entertain a meeting with the department heads until additional information is received. Now, I'll put that on me uh, because I, I've, I really, I've been on, I've been on other issues, a lot of, a lot of COVID stuff lately. So I, I will go through, <laughs> I will go through those requests, but you can see in most of the requests, there's no, you know, the second page, the proposed funding sources and, and operational budget impacts and things like yeah. that are, are not all missing. They're missing. They're mm -hmm. missing. So we, I think there needs to be a little more work to get these requests complete before the Capital Planning Committee meets with the departments. That's entirely your call, but I think the, um, I think the burden should be on departments to provide additional justification. Yeah. So, so most of these requests do not impact on any of the other requests. Most, most of the new requests do not impact on any of the other requests that are out there, with the exception of the chippa and the, the bucket truck. Bucket truck. And uh, which impact the um, the, the sixty thousand dollars to remove trees? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one or the other. It can't be both. <laughs> Is there but, any way we could get a used one? Yes, I believe. A lot that, of businesses yeah. failing. It might be yeah. worthwhile. And then yeah. there was the talk, the talk last year of getting of sharing one with Boylston or something. Yeah, it was Clinton, and Clinton. it's just it hasn't come. That hasn't gone anywhere. Not with everybody Clinton. wants their own bucket truck. Oh sure, <laughs> yeah. Well, see, Boylston uh, really doesn't need it because they can use it from the light company. Yeah, they have yeah. their own That's light. That's right. Company. Okay. That's right. That's exactly what they do. Yeah. Um, Maybe I you think you get into this business. I think bigger expense is going to be hiring a person, and that's a yeah, yeah. That, every that year. was yeah. the issue we raised last year is, is yeah. that it doesn't include the cost of operating and this yeah. is just the capital cost and and whereas if yeah. we if we allocate n n dollars for tree removal that that is the whole package mm -hmm. yeah. the other thing about this current this year's current request is that he does note in it that it doesn't remove the need for um, contract services. So why are we purchasing something that doesn't remove the need for contract services? Well, I think there are a few trees that would be very dangerous for our people to do, but they could probably hit the medium ones, you know, and just leave the very ones that are in a very rough place or they're just too big. Yeah. I, again, I, I, I sort of go back to where we were last year. I really would like to have an estimate of what would it cost to contract to get all this work done? And yes, there will be more trees that die, but uh, assuming that little has been done in the past, if you get rid of the 800 dead trees now, uh, you're gonna have many fewer trees hanging there and, uh, and, and the cost per year to keep up with that, I, I mean, you're, you're what, what are you talking about an operator for one of these things? Yeah. That, that, that's, isn't that what we said? Uh, what is that? That's what we said last year. <laughs> benefits. Oh yeah, probably about $80,000 combined. Yeah, with benefits and yeah. Um, 
you know, the bucket truck could also be used. We do have LED street lights now that we own. And so mm -hmm. we are going to have to do our own maintenance on those fixtures. So the bucket truck could be used for that as well. So it's not just trees, it's other things. Um, I just, I just inherently worry about, about, you know, proper training and, and liability and liability. workers comp and yeah. uh, it's, uh, those are not the Does safest Maya things. provide any insurance? for those kind of safety things? They, well, that's workers comp. So that's the insurance that they would provide. But I do also think that they would provide uh, training. But with a bucket truck, I'd want to be sure that our crew is fully up to speed on OSHA safety standards. And so yeah. we'd have to assure that before they get into a bucket truck. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, honestly, after having seen the uh, their, their front end loader, I don't know why they wouldn't be prioritizing a front end loader over a bucket truck at this point. That it's front end loader, too. excuse me? It's got one of those listed also. Oh, we do. And so I'm thinking if, if it has to be one and not the other, I don't know. Uh, the, the the front end loader is um, is pretty is pretty rusty and it's got things welded on it which it shouldn't have so um, you know maybe the can question they is unweld it can they unweld it they can unweld it but then the pieces will be off it <laughs> I think what you're saying is being held together by spit and bailing wire something like that okay. duct tape. Ah, <laughs> uh, duct tape. That solves all the problems. That's right. That solves all the problems. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think uh, you, you know, I, I, I'd, ha I'd be happy to take marching orders from Capital Planning Committee and go back to the departments that have submitted uh, requests for real dollars and tell them to add more detail to their requests. Well, and I uh, think, it, it, Margaret, I think I think it's pretty clear that you're not going to find 1.34 million. Um, to spend on new capital requests. No. And if you look at the amount that's that you'd be using from public safety mitigation funds, we don't have that amount in public safety mitigation funds. So, you know, there's... You don't... I'll be thrilled if we get the mitigation that we were expecting for this year. I... You know what, Eloise, I completely agree. I... I I've... I think I sent an email earlier today. I would not. I would not plan on using more than more than seventy five percent of last year's amount. Yes, actually... but of the mitigation that we used, mm -hmm. is for personnel that unless we yep. were to let You're people right. go. You're right, and we're going to continue to use. First. Yep, yep. That's so. That's a little over two hundred. I, I can't remember. I think it's a little over two hundred thousand dollars that we actually put into the operating budget to fund those uh, those positions. positions. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not even we're not even close to having enough public safety mitigation funds for. Well, I think you need to get that across to gently to the public safety people. Mm -hmm. Yep. Happy to do that. <laughs> if I see you in a straw effigy. I'll know you were trying. <laughs> you'll know that I got a, a you'll know that I got a hold of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um, I am. Uh, I was surprised to see the uh, the replacement backup ambulance um, because it hadn't been um, it hadn't been submitted. Um, last year. I don't know if it was submitted prior to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, typically when there is a request for a replacement ambulance, something of, of that magnitude, it's funded over a couple of years, you know, and then. But, well, that's why we wanted to have the special public safety fund so that when they want something like this, yep. you've got something. Well, guess what? Maybe this will be the year to actually establish that special stabilization fund from public safety mitigation funds. Is that different from the capital stabilization fund? That would be, yeah, that because that's um that would be strictly funded by public safety mitigation funds mm -hmm. and um, used for public safety purposes. Yeah. Well, the advantage is they would see the dollar amount mm -hmm. ahead of time. Yes. Yeah. 
They're hardworking people, but they want what they want. Mm -hmm. it, it also did say, um, I guess I have two questions about the ambulance. The first one is it said on the request um, that the funding for that was coming from it. Um, from, I'm trying to think of the right words, but the, from, I guess the, the insurance receipts. So that um, would be ambulance billing, but actually ambulance billing funds our operating budget. And there's not enough left really from ambulance billing to fund capital as well. So I, I think I need to, I'll talk, I can talk with chief and just, um, you know, make sure that's clear. If all of a sudden we have a huge increase and it's a consistent increase in ambulance billing, um, collections, uh, fine. Maybe we could take a look at that. But right now, we take in the we take in the ambulance billing revenues and we put it right to the operating budget mm -hmm. for the for yeah. fire operations. And Martin? don't we have two ambulances? Didn't the new yes. one replace the old one that didn't actually go away? We do have two ambulances. Yeah. So we're looking at replacing the old one. Looking at replacing the old one, which would become the frontline one, and then the frontline line one now would become the backup. I'm sure that's how they would typically do it. Margaret, we we have the same chief this year as last. No mm -hmm. change coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, there's uh, he's probably going to stay, and um, he's probably going to stay another year after May of next year. The board is petitioning for special legislation to allow him to continue for an um, uh, his employment after the age of sixty five. Sixty five is the statutory mm -hmm. limit for retirement for fire. So, and I take it Ken would like that. I, well, I kind of put him on the spot at one meeting and said, well, you're willing to stay another year, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> well, my impression from talking to him was that he was no, he was no rush to retire. Yeah. Yeah. I think he likes to, I think he likes to keep busy. He's really done great things for yeah. this department too. And just ask Eloise, he is always there to help. Mm -hmm. He really is. So, that said, uh, I will talk with the chief and um, the police chief. Now, my hope with with uh, chief with Chief Galvin and the radio system upgrades is that uh, my hope is that he will get some grant funding um, to pay um, for that project, and so we could pull um, we could pull most or all of that request, maybe. Uh. When do you think we might know about grants? What's his schedule? Um, so he submitted the application, I think two weeks ago. Um, it does take them a little while to, it takes the state a little while to actually review all the grant applications and make awards. I don't know what the timeline is. Um, I'm assuming it'd be before January 1st. But and Margaret, is, is that a, a radio system to serve fire and police or just police? It would be all of public safety. And I think they'd actually be looking at, I don't know if it would happen immediately, but I think they'd be looking at adding public works too, to mm -hmm. it so that they could have, um, you know, three channels. A unified system. Yeah, I think um, ultimately that's what they'd like. Yeah, yeah I remember that both um, Ken and, and uh, Tom talked about that in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and Chief Galvin, we actually did get a donation from NRP for 300, Oh gosh, uh, I think it was three hundred and twelve. I want to say three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars from NRP, the apartments down at Riverbridge. Um, they gave the town a donation um, in lieu of having to do some sort of a, a fire. I think they call it a BMD um, unit. Um, so they saved a lot of money by not having to do that. So they gave the town a donation. So that's a big chunk of this half million dollar plus project that we already have through a donation. So if we Wait, can get so the grant, my hope is that that project would be pretty well paid for. So is, I, I, I had written down 311,000 for the radio yeah. system. So is, is it? It's is actually, it oh yeah, no, it's it's actually a lot more for the infrastructure. Um, okay, and that's what the 300 something of this yeah. grant yeah. is or this uh, gift is. That's my understanding, yeah.
Okay. Now, what is the capital? Have you had a discussion yet about what you want to do with the um, with the items that were deferred in the spring? Do you want to see if um, do you want to see if the finance committee would be willing to uh, fund those three deferred items outside of the free cash allocation for this year, or how do you want to look at those three things? Yeah, so I had asked Michael when we started um, what his understanding of that was. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I guess I'm a little confused. Didn't we intend to fund them out of free cash from from fiscal year 21? So isn't that fun, funding still there? So the funding... Of Every year free cash closes out and then it opens up again once it's certified in the next, in the following year. So- but the cash it, didn't it, go away. It, yeah. The cash it, we didn't spend didn't go away. Yeah, right, exactly. You left a huge base and partly because these items, you know, partly because these items were deferred. Yeah. So I think it might be worth, if you want to bring back the, um, your recommended, uh, uh, contracted dollars for hot top sixty thousand dollars for for tree removal and one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars roughly for capital stabilization you mm -hmm. could ask finance committee if they would be willing you got that <laughs> <laughs> um, you could just ask finance committee if they'd be willing to reduce um, the certified free cash by those amounts first before they allocate to their categories for the coming year well, where would you pick, take out the 60,000 for the HVAC? You would do that. Well, see, those weren't deferred. I don't know if FinCon might be willing to take that out too, but I, I have a feeling that, I don't know. I don't have a feeling. And I don't some know. Some of what the FinCon deferred might. amounts, I think personally, I might be inclined to decrease them. Not okay. because I want to, but just to get. The given situation. Mm -hmm. To decrease which, Eloise? Um, you say the deferred amount? As much as I'd like it, cut it in half. Which one? The whole total? Well, and, and a hot top, you could do the same thing. You could just defer a hot top for another year. Fund the $80,000 in FY22 rather than the eighty thousand dollars from FY twenty one and another eighty thousand in FY twenty two. We're not laying any more hot top until FY twenty two. Yeah, nothing's going to happen for the next. But th but basically, this just goes into uh, Dave's kitty that he uses to yeah. to buy hot top. Yeah, it's not uh, getting. Yeah, but I thought he was going to do the. I thought he was going to renovate the um, the town offices driveway in the spring. That's not from that though. That is from the grant and the free cash that was actually appropriated at town meeting. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to leave him with nothing in hot top. Mm -hmm. But maybe I we I just thought given what I know today, I would like to cut the things 50%. And then, you know, if he asks it again for next year, then maybe you'd make it up then. But until I find out, you know, what are the abatement requests that Molly talked about at the department hearing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the fact that the Highland Commons, no, 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 River Bridge asked for forbearance on their 100,000 mitigation. Um, I just think there. things that t and the fact that I certified about 20 instrument of takings today, which included what five to eight houses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just think things are getting extremely tough and you're looking out 18 months in advance. Mm -hmm. It's true. Things are things are tough for our people and businesses out there they are so that's why i would like to retrench a bit mm -hmm. 
and you know, can he get something secondhand for his whatever, his his toys? Give him half of the <laughs> asphalt just in case he needs it. Yeah. I don't want to leave him with nothing. I, I do think it's important you take down some of the, the you begin taking down these trees because they, you know, they fall when there are storms. Some yeah, but then it's an emergency. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'd be nice to, yeah, it'd be nice to be proactive, yeah. Find out when National Grid's gonna come around and do try to work out something in conjunction to them. If you they cut it, we'll haul it away. So, oh. oh, I was just going to say, what about reducing our stabilization? No, you don't like I, that. I, I'll always recommend that you put money into savings. Always. I will always recommend. <laughs> I'm not opposed to that. But that's just me. <laughs> no, but we might have to do that come next, you know, for the next mm -hmm. budget. But yeah. I would prefer to see more support documentation and get a better feel. So if we could have that at our next meeting and then meet anybody that we need to in January so we can finalize a budget. While Michael's here. Yes. I'll be gone before you get there. I was being sarcastic, <laughs> sorry. I'm happy to join you by Zoom occasionally. Yeah. Right, it, it works from Colorado. Yeah. 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 For me, it'll be late afternoon. Oh yeah, that's fine. You're two hours behind. Yeah. So just so you are, um, uh, you've gotten the free cash guidelines that the finance committee approved. So the finance committee is in favor of, of putting money into capital stabilization. And I, I think that is great, you know, programmatically funding it. But it does say not less than 10%. So, it, you know, if there, if you feel that there is a need, like, for example, if you feel that maybe uh, some of this replacement ambulance would have to be funded from or any future replacement ambulance would have to be funded um, in part from capital stabilization. Um, you could put more money into that than um, than the ten percent just for savings. Well, there's a difference between a specific goal and just putting money away for money. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, the other thing is hot top. Um, the finance committee actually um, created one of the categories for special articles, which hot top um, could be funded from. However, at $80,000, it would eat a big chunk of the money that would go to special articles or the percent of free cash that would go to special articles. So um, it's just something else to think about. Um, that it could be that the that free cash could actually be applied to a different category other than the capital budget for something like hot top. And the reason they did that is because hot top is this recurring, it's a recurring article. It's not a one time capital request. So yeah, but Dave put Dave doesn't like to have it in the the operating budget because it then disappears at the end of the year. That's right. He can't carry it right, right. So, um, all right, so I have, I have my marching orders. I will, I will get more justification um, from, on all of the capital requests that were submitted. And, and Margaret, will you remember at, if, uh, at the FinCom meeting next week to ask uh, about those three items and what we wanna do with them? Yes. Do we and have Ellen Oh, I was just asking if we have a deadline for making this decision. I know we talked about a special town meeting December 5th. 
Mm -hmm. uh, That's been canceled or postponed. It's, it's postponed indefinitely, but all three of those items that you talked about tonight are on the capital budget on that special town meeting warrant. So mm -hmm. I, I say they're on, the board hasn't voted to keep them on, but they are placeholders on that warrant. Okay. All right. When um, I, I I will work on getting the um, additional justification um, right away. But when do you plan to have your next meeting? Um, don't know. <laughs> I would recommend among my group if we can do two weeks. Um, and then I would recommend, uh, I can't think of her name now. Mary asked if we can set up a regular meeting um, as opposed to scheduling in each meeting that would be helpful for Zoom. And I don't remember why, probably because of accounts. You can schedule recurring um, meetings. Um, so, uh, and you don't have to change the Zoom login credentials when you schedule the recurring meeting. It's used, you use the same login credentials. So that would be why. But two weeks from today is Thanksgiving. Woohoo. That's true. <laughs> Probably not the day to do it. Probably not. Huh. I mean, we could. And again, we'll all be home anyway. <laughs> well, you can't go anywhere. I just told my, it's not like my sister anywhere. that I'm not coming I'm down to the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Put the, the turkey leg right here. <laughs> the Thursday after that would be the 3rd of December. Anyone? Agree yeah. to Okay. Because there's there's a three week gap here, do you want me to schedule um, one or more of those department heads with you that night so you can kind of get that underway? Okay. That would be good. I think that would be great. The sooner we can get that done, the better. Who do you Who think do you has want his to act see? most together? Excuse me? Who do you think has his act most together on this? Chief Galvin. That's my guess always. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that who you want to meet with first? Or do you want to save him for last? <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like we're gonna have the fewest questions from him for yeah. him. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I, he will give us a presentation of exactly what he needs and he'll tell us this could wait or this couldn't wait. And uh, yeah. Um why don't you want to just tackle uh, fire chief and highway superintendent that night then? Sure. Or all three of them. I doesn't, what do you want to do? Whatever they want to do. Let's try okay. and get as many as we can and maybe they're busy. Let's see if you can get two of them and, and maybe it doesn't matter which two. Okay. Yeah. Margaret, when are they going to meet with you? I would prefer to meet with them after they've met with you, after oh, you. They have to meet with them in the next three weeks. Oh, I'm following up with them right away. I'm going to have them start working on justification and I'll set up meetings with them right away. So I'll be meeting with them within the next two weeks. Okay. Yeah. And confirm the date again so I can make sure my minutes reflect the correct date. December 3rd. December 3rd, 7 p.m.? Correct. Okay. Okay. I will schedule. We'll have a uh, highway and fire chief at that meeting. And uh, I, I don't put these meetings on, on my town government, do I? No, no, I do. Okay, fine. I was worried. I'm just sweating messes it up every time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Somebody has to. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Anna, tomorrow I will schedule. Well, yeah, tomorrow or Monday, I will schedule the Zoom meeting for December 3rd, and I'll send out the credentials, the login credentials to everybody. So you'll just cut those and paste them into the agenda for my town. Okay. I, I will. Okay. I promise. <laughs> I hope. 
I don't know why I thought I'd done it already and then hadn't. Because you need to do it right at the same time. Otherwise, it just goes. Yeah. Goes, in a, goes away. Believe me, I know that. I know I asked Mary right away, and then I guess I didn't do anything with it. Well, life interferes. It does. We got puppies, and so I haven't really been sleeping. (sighs) God, you're either brave or foolhardy. Oh, both, I think, because we got two puppies, so that makes me both brave and foolhardy. What What kind kind of puppies? Oh, Jack Russell puppies. Oh, <laughs> active. Oh. Why yeah, don't I, I hear I them? That. Oh, because I'm at Disney World. That's why you don't hear them. You're at Disney World? Wow. What are you doing wow. at Disney World? Vacationing. With your puppies? No, <laughs> no, no. We left them at home with the bed sitters. Oh. Uh, but uh, they, is it uh, raining you know, there right now or still or? It is not. Uh, it's dark. But it wasn't. It stopped raining. Oh, for the that's first time in four days. It's been raining on and off for for days. So, are, are you going to the various attractions, or you're just sitting there? No, no, no. We've been we've been partying it up, you know, in Disney World. I hope you've been wearing a mask. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're they're crazy with sanitation and distance and masking and all those sorts of things. Mm. Okay. All right, so I am going to uh, get you the Zoom login credentials. I'll send it to everybody on the committee. Um, I'm going to reach out to both Chiefs and Dave tomorrow, asking them to complete their capital requests and get further justification and invite them to uh, invite uh, Fire Chief and Highway Superintendent to your December 3rd meeting. Thank you. And Michael, on Wednesday, I'll remember to ask FinCom about those three deferred capital items. Good. Okay. Anna, you might want to ask Janice if he had anything to say. Jane? Do you have anything to add? Questions, concerns? No. (laughs) You just want to say you're so happy to be on this committee. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm not sure about that yet. <laughs> you see, but I'll, I'll stick with it. Yeah. T- tomorrow morning, Walter's going to go after you instead of me. <laughs> I know, I know. That's okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Whatever happened is that, um, speaking of Walter, is that um, a concom thing totally dead in the water at this point? Dead in the water for now. Yeah, yeah. dead in the water. How for now. much money was that that they were looking for? Was this to buy Mount Pisgah? Yeah, it we was. already um, own Mount Pisgah with yeah. the, the property that the Lyman School used to be on. The corner of Lyman and Linden. Yeah. 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 Um, it was, um, I, I want to say, between six hundred and seven hundred thousand dollars and $700,000 after the funding that they could have kind of rounded up from other sources. So it was, a, I think in total, the selling price was over a million dollars. But what happened was, well, the real estate market is good. And so the family knows that and they know that they can get more money uh, for the property. So they were looking, I think they're most recently looking at more like one and a half million. So it's just a, kind of a far reach at the moment. They want to divide it into, is, is, is it zoned to be built on? They, yeah, they, um, it can have a few houses there. So they were looking at the possibility of maybe, um, they did say that they'd be interested in keeping some of the land um, as conservation. So they were looking at maybe developing some of the lot and then leaving some um, to sell to the town for- Well, usually they do around the outer edges and then land becomes conservation land. That's probably what they had in mind, yeah. Or something that they can't build on, a la ledge. <laughs> or Unless you or a la there, you lands. Could, you would find a way to divide it so that you could have 400 lots, each of which had 200 feet of road front, but is nowhere near the road. <laughs> no, they'd have to put in a private road, yeah. Okay. 
All right, everybody. Um, uh, so for your next meeting too, I'll I'll try to build a, a better you know a better a better spreadsheet, not, and not just plug in requests. I'll try to do it like John used to do it. Uh, John Solera, he <laughs> built those. <laughs> yeah. That would be great, Margaret. Thank you. But we can we can make somebody we can make Jonas do it. You know, he's <laughs> the material. <laughs> okay. Are, are we, let me ask, is, is this committee at full strength? That. Or is there supposed to be one more person? No, there's supposed to be one more person. And it's a moderator appointee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. Yeah, a moderator appointee. Oh. Yeah, and unfortunately, I'm a moderator appointee to the uh, FinCom. <laughs> hmm, that's not good. Do you have a replacement yet? <laughs> I don't know. Barry's a little slow at these things. You know, you have to think about well, it. Well, FinCom ended up appointing their own member last time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, we're done waiting. And so. they found, we found the rule which said, if you've waited so long and the, the appointment hasn't been made, then you can invite the appoint, appointer to a meeting and vote for the appointment. And I take it the appointer did not show up. Yeah, that was, mm. yeah, duly noted. Yeah. <laughs> has, has he expressed any anger about this? No, no, not at all. In fact, I mean, Eloise, uh, I think Julie came in and got sworn in shortly after. It's all, it's all good. He said he had talked to her before she got sworn in anyway. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. So are we going to adjourn? Yes. Anybody else have any questions or oh, concerns? I'm good. Okay. I'm going to call it 8.40 PM. We have adjourned.